Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Journey to Become Wealthy. My name is Kelvin Reed, and we have another beautiful day, right? Today is Monday. The market opened today. It started off strong, but it ended off red, right? So before we get too and far to why the market ended off red, y'all be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post videos. Okay, so yeah, as y'all see, another day at work, another beautiful day at work. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Wealthy Word of the Week last night was goals. Goals, the Wealthy Word of the Week is goals. Make sure y'all are pursuing your goals at all costs. So, the markets were red today. They started off coming down hard and heavy. They kind of ended up flat, right, on the day. And we know that is in part due to Jerome Powell speaking again. Of course, the Feds did not. They did their rate hikes on, on the 16th. But they did, and they did not do another one this week. But they kind of gave us some feedback on how they feel and how things should look going forward, and it was not good for the markets. So let's check it out. So stock futures are flat after Jerome Powell says bigger hikes may be needed to fight inflation. Bigger hikes. So we know that this one was 25 basis points or 0.25 percent. This right here is signaling, based on his speech, that we may start seeing 50 basis points or 0.50 percent interest rate hikes in the future and also there is new they're saying that we may see as many as seven interest rate hikes this year so we'll see an interest rate hike every meeting this year potentially that's what they're saying so the market did not react positively to this it came down pretty hot and heavy and then it ended up kind of flat i actually think it still came down a little bit in the aftermarket so that's not good for us let's check out this article right let's see what it says stock futures were flat in overnight trading at the federal reserve chair jerome powell said the central bank is open to higher rate hikes to combat rising inflation so inflation is just that bad guys where the fed they after you know the 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 thing with russia's invasion of ukraine is still going on but the fed they they just feel like they have to they're going to have to be more aggressive with the interest rate hikes 25 basis points i guess after a week they don't feel like it was just it was enough this is only five days later right maybe whatever review they did and did their increase they they found some more some more data that may support being more aggressive with the hikes futures on the dow jones industrial average rose 10 points while s p 500 futures nasdaq futures nasdaq 100 futures were flat nike shares rose six percent the Monday trading session was volatile as Powell vowed to take necessary steps to curb inflation less than a week after the agency raised rates for the first time since 2018. Powell said inflation is much too high and added that rates could increase more than the previously approved to 25 basis points if needed. So that's where we get that 50 basis points from. During regular trading on Monday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 201.94 points or 0.6%, breaking a five-day winning streak. Meanwhile, the SP 500 finished marginally lower after rising as much, rising as much as 0.4% during the session, while the Nasdaq Composite fell 0.4%. After dipping as much as 1.5% in session lows. So this is why I told you guys yesterday, you cannot predict things, right? Because we know that the last the last week, market days, we had four straight days of green, four straight green days. When I came in Monday, we had no clue what to expect, right? We didn't, many people came in with anticipations, oh, we're going to be green, oh, we're going to be green. And then look at it, it hit, it hit rock bottom and it bounced back up. Now it did show some support. It bounced out that support on many, many companies, many stocks, but they still ended down. We can hope for more red. We can hope that these interest rate hikes were priced in. We can, we can kind of hope for all these different things, but we really don't know until market opens and we kind of watch and see how things move. And that's why I told you guys last night, we're going to wait to see the first 30 minutes to an hour. And immediately we saw things dropping like we dropping like a hot rock, right? We saw them going down. And that's not to say that they were major dips based on the gains that we saw last week, but they were dips nonetheless, especially since we know that we've been dipping the entire year so far. Except for with the exception of last week. So let's check out our futures, right? Let's see what they're looking like. The Dow Jones is down 0.58%. The S&P 500 is down 0.043%. And the NASDAQ is down 0.40%. The Russell is down 0.97%. So we see things pretty much flat, right? Nothing is up 1%, down 1%. They all pretty flat. And the Russell coming close to being down a percent, but it didn't make it yet. So that's that's okay right now one thing that i thought was different that i thought was improvement was look at this our fear and greed index our fear and greed index our fear and greed is now at a 38 we know that when we looked at it on friday it was sitting at a 37 here right and now it's currently a 38 that means that people are still betting 
more bullish on the future. They're still betting more bullish on the future because if the Jerome Powell speech really had a larger impact, we saw this thing go further down this way, kind of like this 16, we just saw go towards the 28 or 30. However, we're still seeing more bullishness than bearishness. So we may still be looking to come out of this bear market, right? We gotta keep, we're gonna keep watching, we're gonna keep kind of just reviewing things. So let's check out our, let's check out our stocks and what we've been looking at. So Microsoft down 0.42%. Apple up 0.85%, um, Google down 0.24%, Facebook down 2.31% after having a massive run up on last week. So I know many of you hate to see it just like I hate to see it, but hey, you know, there's money to be made either way. We definitely got to just practice on our options, continue to learn how to do these things and just make money that way. Uh, so the, the tech sector and the communication sector, they're both pretty flat. A consumer cyclical looking like it was got beat down. Baba down 4.35%. JD.com down 5.67%. Home Depot down 3.34%. Uh, consumer defensive look like it's pretty flat and down. Walmart down 0.83%. Costco down 1.04%. Target down 1.35%. Let's check it out financials, but especially seeing that they said this is going to increase our interest rate hikes more aggressive. That means the banks should start to see more profit based off this information. So our financials pretty flat and red. They didn't see anything. They didn't make any gains. Not as we would have expected behind news like this saying that hey, we're gonna guarantee you more profits going to the future. So we know our two, Wells Fargo or Bank of America. So both of those are down, down 0.55% on Wells Fargo, down 1.14% on Bank of America. And we have our Morgan Stanley down 2.33% and Goldman Sachs down 1.85%. Goldman Sachs being the one that you guys know that I'm holding. Hey, I don't know what you guys do, just how you got to pick, pick and choose wisely, right? Choose wisely. Healthcare looking pretty, like it's actually up and flat, but still flat nonetheless. Johnson & Johnson up 0.57%. Pfizer is down 0.59%. I don't see Mardana on here. Merck and Co. down 0.05%. So uh, industrials and look, this is one. This is one thing that you guys got to pay attention to, right? We see oil going back up. Oil is going back up. So we see Exxon Mobil back up four percent. Chevron up one point eight zero percent. Shell up four point four six percent. So we got to be weary, right? We know last time oil went up, everything else came down. So we got to be weary of this. We got to keep this in our mind, right? Do we can keep investing in oil? We know XLE was one of our companies that we like. We bought a little piece of it and we kept it moving, right? So, you know, hopefully, maybe you still hold on to it. Maybe you sold it and took your profits out of it. Who knows? You guys let me know in the comments what did you do. If you bought, if you sold, or if you just kind of stayed away and just holding and chilling out, y'all let me know. Okay, and the industrials right here looking pretty flat, but they have some beautiful green areas in here as far as aerospace. Lockheed Martin is up 3.24%. Raytheon is up 2.48%. Now, these are companies that we have not looked into too much. We have not got too much into the industrial sector or the real estate sector. But, hey, if you guys want to, if you have something that you want to look into, y'all let me know in the comments. Feel free to instant message me, DM me, email me, any of that. And we'll check it out, right? We'll definitely do a deep dive into it together. But that's the review on our on our current sectors and how they perform it. And how did I miss Tesla? Tesla up 1.74% today. It actually ran up early this morning and came back down. So it was definitely money to be made on the way up and down in many of these. But hey, you know how it go. I actually missed them on my way to work this morning. So I, I could have tried to force some trades, but patience is the name of the game, right? We're not going to force anything if we're not in a position to where we can make these trades safely and pretty much guarantee some money. We're not touching them, right? We're trying to make some good plays, good solid plays, and make some money. We're not trying, not trying to lose anything by forcing them, right? So let's check out our crypto heat map. We have Bitcoin actually back up to the $41,000 mark, but it says it's down 0.44%. Ethereum is up 1.38%. Cardano up 2.74%. Mana, Mana is up 0.20%. Sandbox is up 0.68%. It looks like many of these may have come down all day and they look like they're just not making their way back up. Um, Crypto.com, now known as Kronos, Crow, ticker symbol is up 0.31 percent most of these are fairly flat shiba inu up 1.21 percent so it looks like they must mainly just mimic the market today terra luna up 3.07 percent so there's nothing major that we see today in the market no, nothing uh really to talk about outside of the fed news and what they talked about and why the markets kind of came down today so you guys got to be aware of that right 
um, hopefully tomorrow we see some more things you know like I said watch watch oil oil prices going back up and all the other sectors are down so let's see how tomorrow moves right can we make some money on the upside or on the downside tomorrow you guys let me know we're gonna try and do whatever we do you guys know tomorrow I do not shoot a video but if I get the opportunity if something major happens I'll definitely check in and let y'all know I thank y'all for joining Journey to Become Wealthy hopefully y'all made some money on the way down today and I'll see y'all later